slight change of plans here because I tried to gather information I needed to uh, start automating the blog from Sid Kiley and the information was inaccurate and he's not answering the phone. So we're going to move on to the necessary plugins that you need installed. So I want to I have my CyberDuck in and you install plugins in the WP content directory plugins and I'll go to my finder with uh, my hard drive filled with plugins and we'll start up here at the top of the plugins list okay so the first one I want to put in will be the Google Analytics uh, that's important to track your traffic keywords being used uh, AdSense, uh, conversion ratios, etc. All that will be set up as time goes on. The important thing is just to get the blog up and running and content pouring into the blog. Um, while that's going over, the next one, we want the Google Sitemap Generator. Got so much stuff opened up right now, it's ridiculous. drag and drop that folder okay we have those two in next we're going to go in and install uh, pretty links we're going to use this to track some of the articles and other contents to make sure to see where we're generating most of our traffic from you always have to track otherwise you'll just be wasting a lot of time okay our next one will be SEO press org this is a really neat um, SEO plugin. And what it does is it helps you sort of optimize your content. Now, it, it does a, a pretty good job at it, and you can get ranked higher if you know, don't know anything about SEO. But the, there's still other methods that you can use that uh, go a little, into a little bit more detail, and I'll show you that later on in here. But this is a good, good one. You can still make a lot of money using this plugin. And here we go. It's going now, so I'll just go ahead and look for the next one. I just this really serves no purpose. The um, sexy bookmarks plugin. I just think it looks cool on the site, so that that one is optional. Okay, we have a few more, such as the um, WP Auto Tagger. We're going to throw this one over here in the mix. Here you go, WP Robot 3.10. We're going to throw this one over here also. There's one more plugin that I want to install. That's the WP Touch. This automatically converts your website so that people can see it on mobile devices. This is a great plugin. Uh, there's nothing cooler than showing off some of your uh, AdSense Empire right there on your mobile device, whether it's iPhone, Android, iPad, or whatever the case may be for you. So we'll start off, we'll activate this one. So activate it. I have to enter our API key. And I will once again pause because you can't um, show the API key, obviously. Okay, that is in. We'll upgrade that. Okay, return to the plugins. Finally got the password right. Okay, we'll activate the Pretty Links plugin. And we'll upgrade it. And the SEO processor, let's activate it. And let's activate the sexy bookmarks. Okay, sexy bookmarks need some attention, need to be configured. Uh, we'll just Go with the default and choose the most popular, modifying it a little. Why, why in the world they didn't include um, 
Facebook is one of the most popular. I do not know. I know somebody may use MySpace. Posterous is definitely growing in popularity. And that's good enough right now for our defaults. Mm. And we'll go with the sharing is caring. And Okay, we'll activate the WP Auto Tagger. Um, we'll activate the WP Touch. So you have the list of plugins that you need, and I'm going to come back and I'm going to work on WP Robot 3, but the guy that we're doing the case study with, I need to get some of his information to fill out the plugin, so I'll do that in another video, hopefully the next video. So I'll come back and uh, do a video specifically on WP Robot 3 uh, coming up next.